In this video, learn how you can create music through art using Chrome Labs Kandinsky. But before we do that, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where each week I'll be uploading new videos on a variety of different topics. So thanks for your consideration and now let's get started with the video. So the website is called Kandinsky. You can find it at musiclab.chromeexperiments.com slash Kandinsky. So all you'll do is start to draw shapes and as you draw them, they'll automatically be given a sound. There is a circle. How about a square? And a straight line. So what you can do is play each of these sounds individually. Or you can play them in succession by pushing the play button. Now one of the things you'll notice is if you draw shapes at the bottom like this face, it's going to be a little bit of a lower tone than this one which is higher. Alright, so let's try this again. I'm going to draw several different circles. How about some lines? Let's add a triangle. And a few other dots. And now let's play this. Now it does give you a few other modes if you'd like. We can switch to this option and it's going to change the sounds a bit. Now let's switch it again and this time I'm going to try this one which gives it more of an orchestra sound. So pretty cool. So pretty cool. Now there's no way to actually save this as like an audio file, but this is a great activity if you're looking for an easy way for younger students to practice using a computer and maybe even to practice learning a little bit about music and shapes. And oh, by the way, the music that you're hearing right now in the background was created with Kandinsky. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below.